So my remote reward release and my release to rewards me are both hot separately. So my dog's here with no reward out there. I say yes, and then I have a reward. Yes, and I have a reward, right? And I produce the, so that's conditioned. When we condition the other, I have my dog next to me. I put something he wants out in front of him. It can start with food and then transfer to toys, whatever it's going to be. Put something he wants out there or get it or whatever you're going to say. Get it, the dog gets it. Get it, the dog gets it. Done that. Now my dog knows both of them in isolation and I'm going to teach discrimination. The first time I do that, I put the dog on a harness or a flat collar or whatever and I have somebody, I either have a leash or I have a friend stand behind me with a leash and held there and I have something on the ground out there and the first time I say yes, the dog wants to go for that because that's the thing that's visible and I have a toy here or whatever it's going to be, I have a reward here. They block him and I break out a reward here and the dog then goes, takes it here and I do that until they don't have to block the dog. The dog's here, sees that one and I say yes and he spins to look at me and I bring out the reward. And then I would switch, and then I let him get it once or twice, and then I say yes, and then I mix it up and to make sure the dog's really discriminating. And this is a really useful tool for us later on, right? There's going to be spots where I want to reward the dog in a variety of, we talked reward placement. And so sometimes I want the reward to be away from me because it strengthens the behavior. Sometimes I want it to be with me. I want to be able to give my dog rewards with me in the presence of other things that they want. So the, having the dog learn, just because there's something out there that you want, doesn't mean when I release you, you get that. You have to listen to what I told you you're getting.